Boxing.com, hitfirstboxing.com, we're in the house. Roy Jones Jr. Roy, first things first, you got to call this Friday night here yep. in Vegas. Yep. At Talk the, on that. At the D Hotel, um, got Des uh, DeMond Brock fighting this guy. He's a pretty good guy in the main events. A very good fight coming up. Uh, I love the fight for Brock. I love the fight. I love the opponent. The opponent's a very good, vulnerable guy. We got a couple guys, new guys that we signed to Roy Jones Jr. Boxing. So uh, we're looking for a good turnout. Um, the event's almost sold out at the D. D has been so good with us, man. We have, it's a been a blessing in disguise to us to be able to work with the D and to bring that type of boxing back to Las Vegas. So I am so thrilled about it. Roy, drop the knowledge. Name at least two of your fighters that we could say future champs. Well, I mean, it's a quite a few of them. Uh, uh, we just signed Vasquez. Vasquez, Brian Vasquez should be a champion for sure. And uh, it's a couple others. I got to see who next. Uh, 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 um, I can't think of his name, but the kid Randy Moreno, he should be a champion too. So I just gonna take him a little bit of time, but Randy gonna be a champion for sure. And we got Saturday night, yeah, Sergey Saturday night. Kovla, Andre Ward. And DeMond the Brock, if they can't I get the right shots, he might try to be a champ too, man. Don't nice. get it too. I got a few of them over there that can be champ. Whoop. But yeah, Sergey Kovla fight, uh, Ward fight is a great fight. Great fight for TV, the perfect time for a fight like this to happen. They're both at the pinnacle of their career. So it's like, I tell people, and I'm not hating on you know, the Pacquiao fight was great. Uh, promotional, great situation. The fight didn't turn out like you want, well, the fight didn't turn out like you want because we waited too long for the fight to materialize. Once you get knocked out by somebody, then you try to bounce back, and you fight a guy that can punch. Court, quite naturally, you still just haven't really gotten over being knocked out, so you're not gonna be as risky or take the chances you would take had that not happened to you. So when the fight was at its peak, it didn't happen. And the, the result of that is so many people paid to see it because they wanted it so bad at the peak, but it wasn't at the peak more when it happened. And they made out well on it, but the fans didn't get what they really wanted from it. This one, you should get what you want because both of these guys are at the peak of their careers. Now, because one guy is a guy who knows how to slow the pace way down, and one guy is an active puncher, the one guy is supposed to try to make it boring for the other guy, but it's going to be a good fight because all night long, both guys are still dangerous. And neither guy is going to run from the other. One guy's going to be so close to the other that the other guy is going to have to figure out how to manipulate that situation. But nobody's going to run. They're going to beat up fighting. And I mean, it's going to be a great tactical fight. So I can't wait to see the fight because it's a great fight and a great weight class and a great tag. Now, if you was working corner for Ward and Kovalo, what would you tell them the night of the fight? Well, I really kind of hate to say that right now because I don't want to give no secrets away from either fighter. Uh, it's not a good thing because I'm not fighting they are. And I don't like to choose sides because they're both great fighters. I love both guys. Both of my countrymen, you know, I'm half United States, half Russian citizen. So both of my fellow countrymen now. So I'm not going to say what I would tell these guys, but the right thing to do would be to tell Kovalev be the best Kovalev you can be and then to tell Ward to be the best Ward you can be. And both of those guys know what that means. Kovalev is the crusher, you got to be the best crusher you can be. Ward is a boxer uh, who takes his time and mentally takes guys apart. You got to be the best Ward you can be. And that's really the best advice they can give right there. What do you think? Floyd and Pacquiao part two? I mean, if it makes money and people are excited about it, Floyd has been a genius at doing it. Floyd is a genius at keeping the sport alive, keeping the sport above all every, every other sport. Uh, you have to give Floyd his credit with credit too. Floyd has been a very intelligent guy at choosing fights and choosing timing for fights and being smart about the way he operated business. Um, so I think Floyd is the smartest businessman next to Donald Trump on the, on the planet. So <laughs> it's like, for me, Donald Trump, <laughs> More president said that Floyd should get vice president because he's the second smartest guy. You know what I mean? So um, these guys, they're so smart, and Floyd being as smart as he is, you can't never knock none of Floyd. Do Floyd smart? Floyd is the smartest guy out there in the world of sports. To me, so it's like if he says he's gonna do it again. What, what can he say about it? He made 300 million. He deserved the right to do it again. He he, he proved that. My way, I'm going to make all the money. I have money made whether that's what I'm going to do. And he did that. So what can we say about that? Well, my friend Thomas Adamick always says, if the money's right, take the fight. That's exactly right. Damn right. A couple last words for your fans worldwide, boy. My last words, you know, I know everybody uh, love to hear Roy Jones and love to hear what Roy Jones has to say. Quite naturally, as you can see, you really don't have no problem understanding what Roy Jones says. Roy talks a little fast when he's not on HBO because they pay him to slow down. That's how fast I am. When I can't so fast, they gotta pay you to slow down. You know, you're a pretty fast dude, right? Well, anyway, back to where I was. So, um, I'm looking forward to I enjoy training these guys, but I still like knocking people out every now and then. And as a matter of fact, it's this cat named Bobby Gunn, this bare knuckle guy that's been chasing me around for the longest. I'm kind of tired of not 
or somebody not making it good enough for us to fight. So they just make it halfway good enough for us to fight this time. Yeah, I think we got to go and fight because he really thinks he can knock me out. And I understand what he's thinking. I understand why he feel like that. But I mean, that's his right. I mean, I can't deny it was right with thinking. And the fact that he is the best bare knuckle guy that they have ever had. He has earned his right to take a shot. I mean, he's not been the best boxer, but I know what he want to do. He want to try to take a shot so he can land a big punch. And sometimes, if I'm going to keep fighting, the most smart fights to take, the one that guys are almost your age, that think they got what it takes now to catch you. And, you know, hey, let's see what happens. Well, Roy, you're the promoter, man. You can make that fight happen. I'm going to make it happen. It's make it. Happen. I can promise you that. Very good, man. Thank right. you, sir. Always a pleasure. Yeah.